Ya Saike. So in this video we will take talk about urea cycle. Urea cycle is also known as Crab hen slate cycle. Crab hen slate cycle. Before starting this video, we will go for our view about this video. Some of you know that amino acid metabolism. Amino acid metabolism produces free ammonia. Ammonia is toxic and cannot be excreted from body. Excreted from body. So, this ammonia is toxic to body and cannot excrete it properly from body. So, urea cycle is biochemical pathway in the body which convert free ammonia into the urea. This ammonia is converted into the urea and this urea cycle takes place in the liver and urea is less toxic and easily excreted from body so we start now procedure of uh, this urea cycle suppose this is the two area of cell one is the mitochondria and this is the cytoplasm because urea cycle take place in cytoplasm and mitochondria both actually the urea cycle started from the mitochondria where the carbon dioxide is produced from cellular respiration and it combined with the ammonia and these two converted into the carbomyl phosphate in this reaction there are two ATPs are involved two ATPs are consumed and also Synthase enzyme is also used. Synthase 1. This carbomyl combined with the ornithine and converted into the citrulline. This reaction is catalyzed by the ornithine transcarbomylase enzyme. Ornithine trans carbomylase enzyme this citrulline is transported into the cytoplasm with the help of aspirate and converted into the arginosuccinate with the help of enzyme arginosuccinate synthase and citrulline combined with the aspirate enzyme, aspirate amino acid. This arginosuccinate converted into the arginine with the help of enzyme known as arginosuccinate and also release a fumarate. This argino arginine finally converted into the ornithine and also split into the urea with the help of enzyme known as arginase now this urea is soluble compound and it dissolved in blood and transported to the kidney where it is excreted in with the urine this ornithine started the cycle again and combined with the carbomyl phosphate so this is the overview and brief introduction about the urea cycle thank you